Hey, how's it going? It's Andrew Nakis here with a super quick Unity tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about how to integrate the Google Project Tango SDK with the Cardboard, also now known as the Google VR SDK. And so the basis idea is if you have a dumb smartphone without Tango support, you just load up the normal VR SDK. And if you have the Project Tango phone enabled phone you can then load up the motion tracking on top of the cardboard allowing for an immersive motion track experience so just starting off this is a very basic unity project with just the Google VR the, uh, SDK and the Tango SDK loaded in it and besides that there's absolutely nothing in the project nothing's been done so just to start, we're going to integrate Tango by adding the Tango Manager service and then also put it into the head. And it's actually really easy to integrate it with Cardboard. All you do is add a character controller and the Tango Delta Pose controller, enable character mo motion, uncheck track rotation, track position, and inside this Google Cardboard sample scene you have six degrees of freedom built in with Tango uh, and essentially the basis of this project is all we need to do is do this via script um, if the Tango connects turn on those things and if not load up the standard Google Cardboard example as shown so to get started we're gonna write a method that turns all that stuff on. Cool, and so in the head script, now we have the method, there's no compiling errors, and we just need to add in the Tango Manager, Tango Application Script, we need to go in and say if the Tango connects to the service, turn that static bool on, and load up all the, and call that Tango method. So let's open the Tango application script. And on the Tango connect section, we're going to call in a script we make in the head. I mean, I'm sorry, a static bool called Tango switch. and we make it true in Tango application and when the Tango connects and then in an update function and again I don't think this is the most elegant way to do it but it works so we put an if statement if Tango switch equals true call that that method and then also make tango switch equal false so it doesn't call it a hundred times and now everything's written correctly and then 
no compiler error. Then, which should work perfectly. And yes, yeah, so we're in VR. We have six degrees of freedom. And we can test it out if we comment out this static bool being called when the tango connects. We should not have six degrees of freedom and just be in the standard cardboard mode. But then if we go in should be back in Tango Land moving around with all the scripts checked um, and then just one last thing before we build um, we, we need to go in and actually there's a uh, this this script or this folder right here, Google Unity Wrapper, is incompatible um, with the SDK, so we actually just need to delete it. Um, everything should work fine. And we can now build build and do the standard build section. Uh, so once again that was the Google VR Project Tango integration. Um, and this is really exciting since Project since Android N just released their Project Tango support natively in Android 6.0, it's going to be exciting because there's bound to be more phones down the line. Um, so thank you, and I'm looking forward to see what you made.